That's the Hawthorne Ridge Cemetery that we've just come out of. Belmont Hamill, Church Spire, Hawthorne Crater in this clump of trees, and we're looking virtually across no man's land as it was on the 5th of July 1916. Mike, th this is the sunken road down here with the Lancashire Fusiliers were positioned, and that's where Mellons took his famous footage on the 1st of July on the cine film. Now I'm going further around to the Beaumont Hamill Cemetery, which is in there. I can just make out the cross. Uh, I go up the hill. Do you know what that first cemetery is? It's one of the Redam Ridge cemeteries. Re Redam. Oh right, Redam, Redam. Yes. Now the one behind it is that another of the That's same? That's another Redam one. Um, perhaps all three are Redam. Uh, I'm not sure. Now if I move over to the left, I get to a, a, a big clump of trees. I can see a monument through the camera here, there's a cemetery there. I go a bit further on, and there's a white cross in a cemetery, right on the ridge. And these are all probably 1st of July. I'll just come back a bit here and get them all in. I have made a mistake. The Scottish cross there is just behind the sunken road, and I'm looking at the sunken road with all the bushes and stuff in it. The sunken if, road goes up. Yes. Up it, oh, it goes a long way. Down ridge. Yes. This is the Highlander cross that I could see from the Hawthorne Cemetery, and it's the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders, 51st Highland Division. Battles that they were involved in. The 8th Argyllshire Battalion, the Princess Louise Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. Next to this monument is the Sunken Road where the film cameraman Mallins took the pictures of the Lancashire Fusiliers just before they went over the top almost to certain death on the 1st of July 1916. And this is the direction that they had to go. This is looking down the Bowman Hamill Cemetery. Up the hill on the right was no man's land. On the left, on the summit, amongst those trees, is the Hawthorne Crater, which was blown up under the German lines at that time. The German lines came down the hill in this general direction, through the valley, and up through here. Amongst all the British soldiers is buried one German soldier, whose name is not known but you can tell from the shape of the top of the gravestone that it is a German one. Each cemetery has uh, a detailed list of the men that are in it. In addition, a visitor's book, and they do ask you to fill in the visitor's book, is a record of who has been here.